And now, First Warn 5 Weather with meteorologist Andrew Chung. Welcome back, everyone. 641 AM on this Friday Eve. We're almost to Friday, folks. Let's take a look at the radar. And right now, things are looking pretty quiet. We may have a spotty shower along the coast this morning, followed by a spotty shower more so inland this afternoon, thanks to the sea breeze. But again, we're only talking about a 20% chance of rain. It is warm and it is humid out there. Look at the temperature 79 in West Laco and Brownsville, 78 in Harlingen, 82 in McAllen. Humidity is 85%, and we've got winds from the east southeast at 7 miles an hour. For the kids before school this morning, they can wear short sleeves. It is going to be warm with a temperature of 80 degrees, but they may also want to wear some reflective clothing. There is that slight chance for some patchy morning fog. By the end of school, 97 is a temperature with a very slight chance of a shower, only about 20% or less. So we're tracking the tropics here at Channel 5, and here is Tropical Storm Jose, still off the coast of New England. It's expected to meander off the New England, England coast over the next 48 to 72 hours. Maximum winds are 60 miles per hour, and Jose is really not expected to move all that much, uh, shown by the forecast track, but the high ocean swells, the heavy surf will continue for the northeastern U.S coast, including New England. Back uh, in the Caribbean, here's Hurricane Maria. It's a Category 3 hurricane. Maximum winds are 115 miles an hour, so just off the coast of the Dominican Republic, where they have hurricane warnings still in effect along the northeastern coast. Hurricane warnings continue for the Turks and Caicos Islands, as well as the southeastern Bahamas. Now, here's the forecast track, the official track from the Hurricane Center. We anticipate a turn toward the north-northwest, so this forecast cone keeps Maria away from Florida, Georgia, Georgia and South Carolina, but I think that over the weekend, people along the mid-Atlantic and northeastern U.S. should keep an eye on Maria just in case. Back home in the valley, we've got more of the same. It's that hot and humid pattern we're pretty much used to or sick and tired of, I should say. We've got winds out of the southeast at the surface, thanks to uh, those southeasterly winds shown in the blue arrows. And this model paints just a very slight chance of a shower this afternoon. Again, just a 20% chance of a shower. Now for tomorrow, as the air mass aloft starts to stabilize, thanks to high pressure aloft building, we'll cut the rain chances down to 10%, just a 10% chance of a shower for your Friday into Saturday and Sunday. On the water today, we'll have winds out of the southeast at 10 to 15 knots. The bay waters are a moderate chop. Your next tide is a low tide at 10.09 in the morning, and the seas are 2 to 4 feet. Watch out for some spotty showers and thunderstorms today. So today's forecast, partly cloudy, once again hot and humid with a 20% chance of showers. We'll have high temperatures in the upper 90s, though we should see triple digit heat for places like the Upper Valley and maybe even McAllen. If you're outside for today, please do take it easy and drink lots and lots of water. And there are your winds out of the south to southeast at 10 to 20 miles an hour. Then for your Thursday night, partly cloudy, warm and very muggy with low temperatures dipping into the upper 70s. And sadly, I have no friends to tell, to, no uh, cool friends to tell you about for the next six to seven days. We're going to have to wait a little bit longer so that heat and the humidity continue into the weekend and for at least the first half of next week. We're back to the mid 90s Friday. Lower 90 Saturday and Sunday. We'll call it mainly dry starting tomorrow into the weekend. That means just a 10% chance or less of a shower. The highs are back to the lower 90s for your Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. We'll keep in a 10% chance of a shower as well for your Monday and Tuesday, followed by a 20% chance of some showers on Wednesday. Uh, there is one front that will get close to central Texas, maybe just north of south Texas by Wednesday or Thursday, but uh, whether it moves into our area still is too soon to tell. So until then, unfortunately, it stays just very very warm, even hot and humid. That's your first Warren 5 forecast. We